I'm Haley. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my trash. <laughs> We're going to be doing an empties video. I love to watch these videos so I knew I've, I've been wanting to do one for myself. I also like to take pictures of my empties for Instagram which is Haley J Beauty. Go follow me there if you aren't already. So I have a whole bag of used products next to me like products I've completely used up and if I did the entire bag, this video would be like an hour long. So I chose just seven products from it. And then in a couple weeks, I'll do another empties video. I love watching them, like I said. So I think it's kind of exciting that I have a bunch down the pipeline that I'm going to be filming and um, uploading for you guys. So I just figured let's get into it. Okay, water is the Stanley which I know is getting a lot of like press right now it's loud because there's ice in it this is great um, if you're curious about the stickers I actually made them myself um, I love using my Cricut machine actually I'm a teacher and I run the Cricut club at school so my favorite thing to make is stickers and I like it because you know if you're interested in stuff like Gilmore Girls you can make your own all right let's get into the products first one here is the Olay Eczema Prone Skin Soothing Body Wash. This was okay. I got this because for the last two years I've been struggling with contact dermatitis. I'm planning a whole video about that and like products that have really helped improve, you know, my skin and that condition, but um, I, I still have a few more things to sort of iron out before I make that video, but this is one of the things that I was using to try to help it was fine. Uh, it wasn't super hydrating. Like it was good for my sensitive skin because it didn't cause any flare ups, but it didn't, it wasn't really that special. I thought it was just okay. Our next product is the Lancome. I'm going to say this completely wrong. I know I'm so sorry. It's the Meal and Mousse, let's see, foaming cleansing makeup remover. I really love this product. I repurchased this. Hmm. A few times, I'd used it over the course of about two years, maybe even closer to three years. And this works really well and it feels so nice when it's going on your face. The only thing is that it has a really strong fragrance and my skin has been having a lot of trouble with acne lately, my on my face obviously. And because this is, has such a strong fragrance, I was trying to see if this was like all of a sudden causing it to flare up. So I stopped using it and I'm actually right now using the CeraVe, I think it's the cream to foam cleanser, which is also a makeup remover. And that works pretty well too. I have to use more of that than this, but it's from the drugstore and less expensive. So, um, but if you're not bothered by fragrance, this is pricey, but it actually lasts you a surprising amount of time. Like this probably lasts about seven or eight months. You only have to repurchase twice a year. So, you know, if you're willing to splurge on that um, for something that feels really nice and scent doesn't bother you, I highly recommend this. I probably have a lot more of these in here because like I said, I, I use them for about two or three. I want to say it's more like three years. Big fan. My next product is this Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. <sighs> the packaging on this. These types of packaging, it's so bad for the environment. Like I use them and I feel bad because I know it's bad for the environment. And I don't know if the reason they make it in this kind of um, packaging is because people are just used to it with shave creams and shave gels, but I feel like they could make it in something else doesn't have to be in this and it's I will say though the product is really great like I think there's a few of these in there too just because um it, it's it says it has conditioners in it and I totally believe that because it leaves your skin feeling super soft and it feels really hydrated after I use it you know how sometimes like when you shave your legs afterwards your legs will get really itchy clearly I have sensitive skin but this really um does not cause that as much as other um, shave creams that I've used in the past. So I really like this one. I have one in my shower right now. That's how much I like it. I've repurchased it a lot over the past. I think I discovered this in 2021. So, but I have bought this a bunch of times. So I go through it fairly quickly, but then again, I'm somebody that actually shaves every day. I know not everyone's like that, but I am. So 
I've bought quite a few of these and I really, really like them. I've become a big fan of Aveeno um, throughout this whole contact dermatitis thing. I know that they say like dermatologists really recommend this brand and you know, when you hear that you're like, okay, but then when you actually have a skin condition, you kind of are like, oh wow, that's actually true. Like this really helps my skin. So I really like that one. Okay, now we have more of a makeup product. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. I love this product. I want to make a video that is products I've been using for four plus years and this would be in it because I started using this when I was on Accutane because my skin was so dry and it's so good. Like it moisturizes your skin and it is gripping. It's so good. And unfortunately, I think, I do not know for sure, but I think they're discontinuing this. You can't find this on like Sephora's website anymore. And they have it super discounted on Smashbox's website. So I recently repurchased this. You're going to see this in a little mini haul soon. But I'm sad. The good news is that they, are, they came out with a product, it feels like, to replace this. That's in more of their traditional Smashbox tube primer packaging. And I've heard, I have not tried it, but I've heard that it is similar, if not the same. So I'm hoping that's true. I'm not going to try it until I run out of the one that I just ordered, but it's kind of sad. Like this is an OG product and it's a holy grail for a lot of people like me, the glass bottle. Like it's going to be weird not to have that anymore, but I'm just a weirdly sentimental person about all things. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense to be sentimental about this, but like my wedding dress came in today in the mail and I was not expecting it. Like when my veil came in, David's Bridal called me and said that it had come in because we only have David's Bridal on a different island than I live on. So they had to mail it to me. I don't know if they wanted me to be surprised or what, but it was supposed to come in in April and this is February. So it came in super early and I was just shocked. I was like, oh, and then I just started crying and the guy handing it to me at the post office was like, are, what's wrong? Are you okay? I was like, oh no, no, it's fine. This is just my wedding dress. And he was like, oh, okay. It was really awkward. But then I cried. I sat on the floor in my house and cried for a while and looked at it. And I guess that's an appropriate thing to be sentimental about, but I'm also very sentimental about makeup products. Right, this next one, you're going to see it in a lot of future empties videos. I use this over and over and over and over again. It is the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. This is just so good. Um, I think it's a staple in a lot of people's routines. It removes everything. Um, I think it does struggle with uh, waterproof like eyeliner and mascara, but if you're not I mean, even the eyeliner is probably fine, but the mascara, I know sometimes it's hard to get off with this. I used to use the Clinique Lids, Lashes, and Lips, which is also really, really good. Like, it's better than this, in my opinion, but it's so expensive, and this is something that I repurchase a lot because I wear makeup almost every day, sometimes multiple times a day, depending on what I'm doing. So, you know, it just wasn't worth it for me to keep paying $20 every time for an eye makeup remover. So I switched to this and I, lo I love it. I don't think it's as good as that one, but I love it and it works well. It just takes a little extra time if you're wearing waterproof mascara, which I hardly ever am anyway. So this next product is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Eczema Soothing Relief Cream. I've gone through a lot of creams over the past two years because of this dermatitis, and this is just one of the many. It's okay. It wasn't bad. It helped. It has that colloidal oatmeal. I don't like it as much as the First Aid Beauty. I just don't. That one is expensive, but it works really well. This is a much thicker kind of cream, and I like I said, I didn't dislike it. I used the whole thing up. And it helped, but I don't think I would put it in as like a holy grail thing that I used, you know, but it worked fine. Last but not least is a makeup product and it is something that came out in the summer, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I have the shade Light Medium. This is a really great product. It is, I would not quite say a tinted moisturizer because it has more coverage than that. Not as much as like, the it cosmetic cc cream i'm actually wearing that today which has really good co coverage but this does have su a surprising amount of coverage and it actually lasts pretty well throughout the day 
says this oil-free perfector delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint for flawless, softly luminous complexion. I wouldn't even say tint. This is more than a tint. Like this has pretty good coverage and lasts pretty well throughout the day. It, it's great. It makes your skin look really plump and moisturized. And um, I used the whole thing up. My mom was looking for something similar to this from the drugstore and I recommended this and she loves it too. So um, I think it's kind of, I think a lot of people really like this one. It's a little less than a fluid ounce, which is a little less than normal for a foundation type product. I would repurchase this. I'm going through a lot of um, foundation like products right now that I like. So um, I'm not planning to repurchase it right now, but I would repurchase this maybe again in the summer. Right, that is everything. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you'll subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hit the notification bell if you are already subscribed. I have a lot of things planned for this channel and I'm really excited. So I hope that you guys will continue on this journey with me and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.